this hit me during the three days where the news was talking about me and a racist tirade from a comedian or whatever, however they labeled it during a comedy show from a roast comedian to a comedian that I knew. Granted, they, you know, tried to betray me and like get famous from an incident. But I always said, if it was, if I said what I said to that comedian to an Uber driver, and that video came out of me going da 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 da, right? That I would apologize for. That would be me losing my temper and my mind for a second and doing that. So, what would I do? The same thing that I did for real life for something that I did at a comedy show? Does this make sense? Have you talked to that com- comic since? No, I tried to talk to him immediately. You know, and he kept doing news things and media things saying Tony hasn't tried to apologize. Tony hasn't reached. I was just lying through his teeth. Literally, I have messages, you know, and me reaching out to other friends that I knew knew him because I literally wanted to be like, dude, what are you doing? This is crazy. Like, I've taken you on the road to open for me before. Like, what is happening? It, it's a very weird situation. It was a a very, very interesting one because he had no real reason to do that. And in my my little bit of a conspiracy theorist opinion, I think it uh, I think he was perhaps motivated to do it by perhaps exterior forces. Who knows? Oh, yeah. But maybe. International exterior forces, if that makes sense, based on anything or this is. Purely conspiracy theory. No, pretty much based on, um, well, what's in, here we go. (laughs) So what's interesting is that I woke up very early that morning to a bunch of misspelled tweets and things like that. And I didn't know what was going on. And uh, long story short, I end up trying to fish around to see where these hundreds of very weird tweets that are directly at me, you know, that say like, you fuck, fuck suck you shit of peace basically like Nietzsche earlier like all of these I'm like what is this per- what are they, what is going Nietzsche. on here right Nietzsche yeah. so I reverse search and I end up finding um articles in Chinese that uh that that <laughs> that said that a comedian made fun of another comedian uh, made fun of a Chinese comedian and um, the Chinese comedian was offended and tweeted that he was offended at what the comedian said. And I had to go through like Google Translate and everything. And again, this is at like five in the morning. And they're talking about this tweet that hadn't happened yet, literally. So a few hours later, the tweet happens. And I'm like, oh my goodness, this is really happening. So right then I started trying to reach out to him because I could see like something was up because it made the news in China before it happened here. Does this make sense? Yeah. So yeah. it's not really a conspiracy at all. It's just such a big deal that I don't want to make a big deal about it. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is crazy. And there's no way that, like, he doesn't have another Twitter or X or whatever, like, a separate one in... Well, here's another interesting thing is that technically... I guess in China, you're not really allowed to be on Twitter. Or you're not allowed to say things on Twitter unless mm-hmm. it's for like a purpose. So all those accounts had zero followers, zero tweets, all these things. And so it was, bots. But Chinese names and Chinese this. And, you know, it was very blatantly like a. Wow. Yeah. It was like a coordinated attack. But that's scarier. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's not getting canceled. That's getting targeted internationally. That's crazy that you, if it is true, that you can be canceled because just like another entity or somewhere from another country decides that you are going to be the subject of cancellation. 100%. What what would be the reason for that? Well, that's that's kind of like a modern day, well... Again, and I don't know what we're going to leave in this mamma jamma, but now (laughs) now we're talking. But what's interesting is that at the time, yeah, they were being blamed for COVID. They're being blamed for a lot of humanitarian things that perhaps are going on in a place as powerful as China. And I mean, obviously, ridiculously powerful. We're taught in 
history books and whatnot that we're number one and this and that, you know, but we're, you know, they make everything, they do a lot. Anyway, so I think it was a full out, um, you know, in today's modern world, the media and what people think, especially on the internet, where Twitter makes the story, you know, s- stories now start and on p- Twitter. And pop culture yeah. is an easier way to hit yes. than fake news. Right. So if they did, if they made me look like that, then they look like a victim. And being the victim, especially in May of 2021, was like all the, all the, all rage. the rage. Yeah, exactly. So um, I think, it, you know, so I was part of that. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's a, yeah. that's really interesting. I know. I know. And I'm always like, can I leave it in? I never think so. Yoni, what do you think? Yeah. 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 There you go. I'm not going to edit this. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's really fucking interesting. Yeah. Scary. But it's scary even in the Are context of everything. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I avoid not? TikTok. <laughs> but it's scary in the context of like literally everything in life right now and social media in general and how we could be fed different things and algorithms and bots. And I feel like it's kind of a mind fuck and control. You're a hundred percent correct. And, uh, you know, with that, it's like, if something gets 5,000 likes and 6,000 likes within hours, seven, eight, nine, and this tweet was going ballistic because it, it, it had worldwide traction. Mm -hmm. Um, that is what journalists are looking for now. That is the new news. It's not go find a story. It's not let's listen to the why or whatever they used to do back in the day. It is literally, okay, this thing's picking up steam on Twitter. This is a news story. That's still the world we live in now. It's so weird. It used to be I get my news from Twitter. Well, now the news gets their news from Twitter. You know what I mean? I yeah. do. So if something's blowing up and they don't know, here's the interesting thing. If something's blowing up on Twitter, they don't know where that blowing up is coming from. So r- bots, humans working, humans being told what to do, getting an alert on their thing, which we have no idea what's going on over there, you know, so what type of system or whatever they could be using. But I mean, it was hundreds of tweets a minute, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of I'm going to kill you, you're going to die. It kind of cracks me up when I hear someone get a death threat. Oh, it's, I got a death threat. It's like, you have no idea what I went through during that. I mean, it was literally thousands of them 